So just to define some terms before we get into solution stoichiometries so we don't get confused with perhaps some of the questions. Um, the solute is can be a liquid but it's often a solid um, such as salt and so it uh, is usually the smaller part of a solution. So a solution is a mixture uh, and it's a mixture of a solute and a solvent uh, and so the solute is usually a smaller part either a solid or a liquid, we'll just go for solid here because it's um, more common and that will break up and go and disperse itself throughout the solvent which is uh, we're going to say it's the, the larger liquid. Okay now the other word is concentration so concentration is the amount of solute in the so solution so if we have a, uh, to a comparison of the two uh, and we have uh, just like three particles here, but here we have like a lot more. Uh, this would be considered of a low concentration and this comparatively speaking would be of a higher concentration. So it's just the amount of particles, amount of solute in solution. So because we're talking about the number of particles, the units we use are the mole. Um, just as a side point uh, for experiments, uh, you just need to make sure that when you're doing experiments that you don't put too much um, solute in there because it'll be saturated. Uh, you can use a trick to get slightly more solute in the solvent than is possible by heating it up. Uh, that will more will dissolve and then you, you slightly cool it and um, it doesn't realize what's going on and there's a slightly more solute uh, than can be dissolved in that solvent at that stage and that's called super saturated. So of course you always want an unsaturated solution if you're um, changing the amount of solute because otherwise it will uh, not dissolve into solution and it'll stay at the bottom and then you'll have other uncontrolled variables such as surface area. Okay so um, that's another reason uh, why we need to know, know about solution stoichiometry. And so the units, uh, as I mentioned before, moles per litre. Um, so if you inverse this, you just put a little negative superscript up there. Uh, the big M, unfortunately, is not just molar mass, but it is actually moles per litre as well. So you'll just know that from the context of the question and how it's written. And um, one litre, litres are the same as decimeters cubed, as mils are the same as centimeters cubed. So we're going to use those interchangeably. Uh, throughout these videos and PowerPoints. So moles per decimeters cubed is the proper way to say it. Um, it's just easy to say moles per litre because it's less syllables. Okay, um, and just lastly, this is very, very common parts per million because a lot of concentrations are very, very small uh, and they're used and mass is a very convenient way to uh, measure things in, in the mainstream. Uh, so if you go to Bunnings or whatever, uh, and so milligrams is 0 0.001 grams, 10 to the minus 3, and kilograms is 1,000 grams, uh, one, 1 to the uh, 10, to, 10 to the 3, so that's a factor of 6. So there's a factor of 6 zeros in there, so it's a factor of a million. So if, how many uh, 0 0.0001 grams there is per 1,000 grams is what we're saying when we say milligrams per kilogram.